Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Teresa. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to Blessed Forever Candle Company. And if you're my OGs, my blessedies, and you've been around for a while, welcome back. Um, today, again, we're in the studio whipping up some candles. This, uh, we're going to do the white belt on today. Super cute from Macy, just in case you want to know. Um, this candle here is going to be a part of my clean home collection. I got a collection coming out. I'm working on two collections at once. Um, the ones that y'all see, the sweet treats, the first ones with the Saturday morning that we did last week. And this is going to be a candle from the clean home collection. And we're going to do a, um, like a, a clean, we're going to do a clean scent. So for that one, a clean scent with a hint of tea tree because it's, you know it's for your home um you just to elevate your space just a little clean a, just a clean fresh scent so that's going to be one of them with the clean that's like a um clean cotton with the touch of tea tree that's just for your energy you know your to wake you up or it can be to help you relax either or so that's why i chose the essential oil tea tree so and a, another one gonna be it's gonna have another one that's gonna come well we'll talk about that when it comes so we're gonna stick with this one so it's gonna have a hint of tea tree so y'all your girl is low in, in her spirit on today i got a phone call i was so excited i had some good news to tell y'all i think i told y'all one day when i was walking i had some good news to tell y'all and um it fell through so i gotta hold on like i encourage and tell y'all um i gotta practice what i preach on today um i shared a little tears i was upset i was like you know what i'm gonna do a video every um, other Tuesday, but I quickly shut myself off and I'm like, listen, I, I know everybody expect me to be the strong one. I'm always, I'm the intercessor. I'm the prayer warrior. I'm the one that pushes out encouraging words. I'm not going to talk y'all head off, but on today I had to speak to my own self. I had to encourage my own self and say, girl, listen, you finna get up. You finna go in there. You finna do some candles and you finna know that if it fell through, it was not for you. If it fell through, it was not for you. I don't know why the delay. I don't understand the delay, but God knows all it's going to work out. And it's in, in God's due time when it's, you know, when it's my time. So with that being said, I had to brush myself off, y'all, get myself back up and get in this um, candle studio and whip up some. It ain't no candle studio, but when I'm doing candles, it's my space candle studio. So we don't whip up some candles like I told you for the clean home collection. And that's my word for you today. If you've seen the title, what do you do when something is not working on your behalf? What do you do? What do you do when it didn't go out in your go in your favor? What do you do? You keep going, you keep pushing, you keep moving forward. That's what you do. Keep praying, keep trusting him, keep believing and know that God's will is what's going to be displayed that's what's going to take place so keep trusting 
hold on to the word hold on to the scripture hold on to god's unchangeable hands he'll never leave you nor forsake you hold on to that word so that's that so we're gonna go ahead on and get started i got the wax heating up so i'm gonna go ahead get these jars cleaned up and wicked i won't even bore y'all with that i'm gonna bring y'all back when we get ready to pour up some candles so i'll see you guys in a little bit i love you guys and we're coming back with some candle studio five start guys i'm so excited to be pouring up clean home collection well one of the fragrances from that collection Make sure you're using your scale, guys. This is what causes your candle to perform better. It's splashing everywhere. Let me turn it down a little bit. Oh no, that's going to take forever. Little splash on her. We're almost there. I always pour this up to it reaches 50. Once you get a little um, formula going, candle making will be 
easy for you on certain candles because everything is different formulations. All right, that's good enough. We don't want to go over. Now let me sit y'all down while I, you know what, hold on a second. Let's see, can we get a little closer? It makes everything easier. Okay, great. All right. Now, I like mixing it in because I can look at my numbers and that's how much at um fragrance oil that I'm adding. Okay, here we go. That's why it's good to do your own testing. Woo. Oh, this not coming out good. But it's safer if I if I have it coming out like that because I don't want to go over. Come on. Come on. A little more. Went over. Just a tab, okay. Now, okay, now I'm going to add my essentials all and we're going to get started. Make sure I get every drop out of there. All right, y'all. Let me set y'all back up. This is the essential oil I told y'all about. I don't know if you can see. Okay. I had to put y'all down for this one because of the... This don't pour out. See how it's pouring out and don't pour out as... And the essential oil is not as strong. You just got to know your measurements to everything. Come on. Make sure you stir in for two minutes. Woohoo, that smells so good. Y'all, I wish y'all was right here. And the uh, tea tree, give it a, a spike. <laughs> a blossom. Something. Give it that right touch. Make sure you're just doing your formulas. Let me turn this wax off because I'm, well, turn it down because I might need a little more. Now we're going to begin to pour. All right. Mm. 
Oh, that smells so good and clean. Let me open up this napkin. Y'all can't see me, but. I just like to make sure it's. That's when I'm using different um, fragrances. I like to make sure that it's stirred in well. Y'all ready? Guys, they are almost solidified. Seems like another hour. Then I'm gonna put the wicks in place, trim them down, and clip them with you guys. So I just wanted to show y'all how they turned out. Look at those smooth tops. I still gotta hit it with the heat gun because I gotta move the wicks in place. But I just want y'all to see the smooth tops. That's why I'm gonna miss 16 and 17, 16, 17 um, coconut soil wax. I'm gonna miss it, miss it, miss it. All right. We're back. Let me show y'all. Smooth tops. But this is what I always do. I take this off. I don't want, you don't wanna pull too hard because you don't wanna pull your wig out. And then I just pull them so they can be in place. And then I hit it with the heat gun, which I'm gonna show y'all. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling all of these off. Pop silk sticks. But we in the candle community, we call these wick setters. Okay. So and then I just let me show you. Again, close up. I leave. I have them like this. Then I 
pull them out this way when I do it this way I know exactly where I want my wig and I've been doing it for a long time and it works for me all I do is hit it with the heating gun I like them even that's why I do it that way you'll see I do it that way no matter which um which stabilizer I use okay. looks so good y'all so so good let me show y'all a close-up Ooh, and they smell so good and fresh and see here in this um bath and body works jar i made my daughter a fruit loop a three wick so we're getting ready to hit all of them i'm gonna bring y'all closer we're getting ready to hit them with a heating gun get the bags out the way we'll bring it closer and straighten it up so we're going to hit it with the heating gun and then we're going to even hers. Let me pull it up so y'all can see it. We're going to hit it with the heating gun and then we're going to trim the wigs. Make sure everything is even because once they, they quickly solidify on the top, I go ahead on and I trim. I make sure my wicks are where I want them. Standing up tall, so when I trim, so we're gonna start with hers. Backwards, yeah 
Immature lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out what's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Cause I know what I want mm-hmm. Baby, dig deep It's time to make a move on my heart What's it gonna take for you to love Take for you to love me What's it gonna take for you to show Take for you to show feels yeah. I've been trying to take it slow But my patience slow Think it's time you let me know What's it gonna take for you to love Take for you to love It's clean up my area. Y'all, they look so good. Even hers look good. Now we're going to let them, we don't take what I'm on here to solidify that we're going to trim this quick. Trying to get my, this is what I was looking for. I want to make sure it's clean off. It's kind of crooked a little bit there. All right, now we're going to trim. And then since it's had alcohol on it already, we just clean the wick. You don't want no um, black wick. The black part when you're trimming your wick throughout the day after burning it, you don't want that on your new wick candles almost they're almost ready i'm gonna show you how it looks and i'm it because it only takes a few minutes hers is ready too yep. 
just going to show you a close up. Oh, that looks so good. Only if y'all can smell what I smell. Just pretend, just pretend, just pretend. <laughs> All right. All this stuff got to be put up. This was the last look at that free loop. It's more wax in there, y'all. Now let me show y'all the one that's completed. Look at that. Beautiful. And this white is so pretty. This white is so pretty. So pretty. All right, now let's trim the wicks. I wanted to show y'all. Don't y'all hate when y'all want something to work and then it don't work when you're trying to show somebody. Don't y'all hate, just hate that. All right. All right, we started out trimming the ones that I made, the one that I made for my daughter. Let's trim that one. And I always check, make sure my wigs are in the right place. Make sure you cut that one fourth. not too short you cut them too short then you got a problem so don't cut them too short that clean set smells so good All right, we're all done. I don't reuse the um, other ends of the wick, but sometimes they be too short even for testing, so. And the bags that they came in, we're just going to go ahead on. Y'all see that? We're just going to take the bag and put it on top to cure. I got two on top, but right now, this is how we're doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to go ahead on and get out of here have a blessed blessed week and i'll see you guys next tuesday because this one the video is going out tomorrow tuesday so i'll see you guys next tuesday bye bye so long Enjoy the rest of y'all night. I love y'all. Bye.